hello and welcome to my new video in my last video I explained the forms overview elements uh, menu layout and design uh, in this video I will explain the data structure of uh, service now uh, which include uh, table and fields tables fields table relationships and types of table so let's start with the tables and field Service now manage manages data through a structured database uh, system consisting of table, records, fields, and list. Table act as a container for storing records. Each record containing various fields that hold specific information. Uh, list provide a user-friendly way to uh, view records within a table. Essentially, in Service now, tables store records which hold data in fields and uh, list display these records for easy access and interaction service now comprehensive data management capabilities empower organization to efficiently organize secure and leverage their data assets to drive business success so tables the service now platform uh, uses a table based data structure to store and organize uh, organize information a table is the collection of records in a database each record corresponds to a row in a table and each field on a record uh, corresponds to a column on the on that table tables play a, a central role in structuring and organizing data within the service now platform providing a foundation for building applications, automating processes and driving businesses value through effective data management and utilization. Uh, ServiceNow has two modules related to tables. Uh, let's explore uh, these on my personal developer instance. So let me open my developer instance. So. table so these are the uh, two modules under system definition for the tables one is table and the other one is table and columns first we see the tables in this uh, we can see that all the tables of uh, service now are present in this table uh, we can simply open any table and then we can check uh, its uh, label of table, its name, and uh, it is extended or not extended, then its column, controls, application access, then all these, this information uh, we can check in the tables module. Uh, and if we talk about the table and column, then the table and column module also shows the all the tables. If we click on the table, uh, then it display the all the columns uh, or you can say all the fields of uh, this table uh, I can check the attribute of uh, any field by simply clicking on that field and it displays all the attribute of uh, that fields to me uh, so uh, from here we can create a new custom table also create an application and uh, from the tables module we can also create any table from here so these both uh, modules are different uh, uh, you can say similar to each other but uh, tables and columns shows in this form like if you click uh, and it displays the fields and its attributes so this is the difference between these two modules so the next is fields uh, in service now fields are individual components within a table that store specific piece of information or data service now supports various field types to accommodate different types of data including text integer decimal uh, date time reference and more 
each field type has specific properties and behaviors uh, tailored to the type of data it represent uh, for example a reference field may reference uh, records from another table while a choice choice field presents a predefined list of options for selections fields can uh, have additional attributes that define their behavior such as mandatory mandatory fields read only fields calculated field encrypted fields and so on these attributes control how data is entered displayed and manipulated with service now uh, forms and lists each field is associated with the uh, label that describes the data it represent field labels provide context and uh, uh, to the user interacting with the data helping them understanding the purpose and meaning of each field within the uh, context of application or process fields in service now can have dependencies on other fields or conditions uh, known as field dependencies for example the availability uh, visibility uh, or behavior of the field may dependent on the va value of another field uh, certain fields may only be displayed or edit editable under uh, specific condition so let's explore uh, different fields on my personal developer instance for this let me open my personal developer instance so if I open incident table then this is the these all are the fields like this is the reference field if I open this if I open this field uh, if I open this field then you can uh, see that the attributes of uh, this field like uh, its uh, type its uh, label and uh, its name so these all are the attributes of uh, uh, dictionary attributes of uh, uh, any field we can make it read only mandatory and all these functions are available here so this is the field hmm. the next is table relationship uh, in service now the table have different relationship like one to many many to many and extended in one to many relationship table fields may be referencing to other table just like reference field for example one to uh, uh, for example uh, one table has some fields which are referencing to other tables like reference fields uh, as an example uh, you uh, you can have multiple incidents as user table is on incident table uh, referenced in color field this way user table has one to many relationship with incident many to many relationship in which two or more tables are related to each other uh, as an example groups and roles tables which are related to group roles table then extended uh, extended relationship is which in which one or more tables can be extended from another table which are also inherited the fields from the parent table so basically if you extend any table from any other table you also extend the fields as well created in the parent table as example you have a task table uh, an incident and change table are extended from the task table you will find some fields uh, uh, in uh, extended from the task table then types of table there are different types of table uh, if uh, the first is base table if a table is extended uh, but itself not extending another table then it is called base table for example a task table uh, it is standalone table it is not extending extended from any other table the other type is extended extended can extend other tables creating parent and child tables uh, like incident change uh, are extended from the task table then core table 
core tables that exist in the base systems are called core table like incident problem user task these are all the core tables then custom table the tables created by users and do not exist in base system these are known as custom table the user can create any custom table as per their requirement then the last thing is the schema map uh, if we talk about the schema map the, the schema map uh, displays the graphical representation of uh, any uh, table like uh, it is extended from which table its fields are extended from uh, which table so uh, let me display from my on my developer instance like uh, if uh, this is incident table and under related links I'll find the show schema map so this shows all the information like uh, uh, the incident table is extended from task table uh, it is also showing the task table fields these are the fields which are extended from the task table and it also displays the column of uh, incident table so in this way the uh, schema map works it also show the referencing table and you can check the the you can say the attributes of table from schema map so uh, before I wrap up let's quickly review what I have covered in this uh, session uh, I explored the data structure table and fields tables fields table relationships and types of table so uh, that's all for this session and uh, in my upcoming uh, video I will cover the ACLs so that's all for now thank you